Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you my February stash shopping. So as you can see, I have a lot of products on my bed. I'm gonna start off kind of going over what was on the chopping block last month. Um, talk to you about some things that are on the chopping block this month. And then talk to you about all the things that I want to kind of work into my rotation this month. So if you'd like to see what I'm gonna use out of my stash for February, please keep watching. All right, guys, let's get this party started. Today, we're going to start off talking about what was on the chopping block last week and what I was going to keep and what I was going to um, put in my give to my family stash or giveaway. Um, I was able to use all four of these and in a way that kind of gave me an indication of whether I should keep them or not. So I'll go through here very quickly because I don't want to spend a lot of time. But I did decide to keep the Moon Dust palette. I used a couple colors actually, um, this one and this one. And I used them with some glitter glue and it turned out beautifully. And it didn't fall out all over my face and that's what I needed to know. So I'm glad to have this as a glitter palette for the future. In combination with that green glitter, I did use this Urban Decay Through the Looking Glass palette. I told you guys I wanted to keep it because of the packaging, but I did use this color with the green glitter on the same look. So this one is staying as well. Now these two I have decided that I'm going to give them away for several reasons. Not because they're not good palettes, but because I have so many that are like them that somebody else that doesn't have so many things like this in their collection could really be enjoying this. And the same thing for this one. Very quality shadows, but I've got others I like better that are in the same family as far as color is concerned. So I'm going to give it to someone else who will enjoy it more than me. Our next little collection here is a group that is on the chopping block. I went through lots of drawers and lots of containers to find things that I hadn't touched in a really long time and things that I was pretty sure that I didn't enjoy much. So I'm just gonna go through these one at a time. I am going to give them a final try this month. This is a little Stila mini palette. It's called the Sensational Eye Set. It has a burgundy-ish brown and a peach color. Just simple, but I have these colors in other palettes. So I'm gonna use it on a day that I need a quick look and see if there's anything spectacular about it. This one, the IT Cosmetics, naturally pretty palette. Um, I actually used it this month and I just was not impressed. I just can't find a way to like it. It's very neutral. It has a lot of colors that I ordinarily enjoy, but I don't know why. It just doesn't work for me. Again, someone else could be enjoying it. As I said, when they're on the block, I'll give them one final chance. I'm going to talk about these three together because they're all very similar. I've got the L'Oreal La Palette Nude 1 and La Palette Nude 2, and then I have a Makeup Revolution. This one is called Redemption, and it is supposed to be a dupe for the Naked 2, or Naked 2? Naked 2 or Naked 1, I'm not sure. I don't have any of the Naked palettes other than the Smoky one. So anyways, I did use this one just a few days ago, actually. And, and this is another one of those palettes that I just look at and it's beautiful and it's very quality. I just don't know what to do when I open it. So I paired this with another palette and it worked out really well for me. Let me show you how pigmented. These are very beautiful, very smooth. Um, they're just really beautiful colors. And I didn't do a very good of swatch, but you can see there's a lot, a lot of pigment there. And they blended very well. And these are my colors. So I imagine this one will probably be staying, but I'm going to give it some more love. This one is another one of those, you know, neutral, naked palette-ish type. If I could get it open. There we go. And it's beautiful, but just very basic and I have a whole bunch of these kinds of colors. Let me swatch a few of these. Very beautiful. Nice pigmentation. And these were kind of expensive. If I remember correctly, they were about $13 to $15. Dollars. 
So I'm gonna give that one a try and see if there's something earth shattering in there that I can't live without. And this is called the Iconic 2 by Makeup Revolution. And I believe it's the Naked 2. I think that's why it's called Iconic 2. But there's some really great shades in here. A lot of shimmers, nice pigment. A nice shimmer so we'll see how that goes but I have a feeling that one's gonna go all right the next in this little group is the Urban Decay Vice lipstick palette and I was so excited about this I thought that I would be you know using this non-stop and I think I might have dipped into one color maybe two and so I haven't given it a good go I guess I really thought that I would enjoy it putting it on with a brush but I think it's just like my own laziness because I don't want to dip my fingers in it and get it messy and I don't want to have to take the trouble of using a brush but I'm gonna use it this one right here is calling to me <laughs> and I think that's the one that I actually use from here Ooh, I don't know see that that made me happy that gave me the happy joys um, let me try one that looks more neutral but they're creamy and very pretty. Ooh, <laughs> that's pretty. Okay, all right, Vice. It says lipstick is my vice. How true. But I don't know. I'll give it a shot. Probably that metallic pink. Can you imagine that for Valentine's Day? Maybe I'll use that as my uh, Valentine's Day look lippy. That would be over the top for sure. All right, next we have a Lorac palette. I have so many Lorac palettes. I think I get them at Hot Look. It doesn't have a name on it, but inside looks like this. You know what's funny, guys? Is like this is the color that keeps me keeping this palette because I don't have any colors that are like that. Do you guys have like so many palettes that you keep just for one color? So I'm gonna try to use this in a way other than that teal and see if it's worth keeping for me. How pretty is that glitter on the inside, though? Love that. Next is a Real Her palette. I believe I got this in a boxy charm. It's called Be Your Own Kind of Beauty, I guess is the name. And I don't know that I've even tried it. I think I, looks like I swatched one of them, but they look like they're all shimmers. And I don't know if you guys are like this, but when it comes to palettes that are almost all sh shimmers, I very rarely reach for them because I want a palette that is all-inclusive, that has everything I want in it. But then I look at colors like that, and that, and that, and they're beautiful. So we'll see if it's worth keeping. Next is It's Judy Time Palette BH Cosmetics. This is a YouTuber. For a while there, I bought every collab with every YouTuber. If I remember correctly, the pigmentation on this isn't great. On the colors that are unique, these three that I would keep it for, I don't think there's much pigment. Um, let me swatch. But they're really dry, and I'm pretty sure this one's pretty too. I'm pretty sure that was my issue, is that there wasn't much pigment, but these are, I don't know, that one's really patchy. I don't know. Not real impressed with the swatches. But I know at one time I really liked this. And last, I was so excited about these palettes. This is the Revealed 2 by Coastal Sense. I was so excited about these because again, these are dupes for naked palettes. And this is a Revealed 2, but I think this is a um, Naked 3 dupe. And you can see I really did use this quite a bit. But this is one of those situations where I used it and used it and used it and, lo and loved it. But eventually I found other polish polishes. I was looking at my pretty fingernails. <laughs> I found other um, eyeshadow palettes that were just so much better as far as quality and pigmentation and texture that I just, you know, didn't come back to this. But when I look at it, I really love this. Like this color is beautiful to me. This one is beautiful to me. And that's a beautiful color. And that's one I'm always looking for. And this rosy mauve is a color I'm always looking for. So it may be worth keeping, but we're gonna see how it performs. It's so funny how often these are put away for so long that you really just can't remember why you stopped. And that's part of this, you know, shopping the stash process is, is it worth keeping? 
All right, the first one is the Lorac Love Lust and Lace Matte Eyeshadow Palette. And I remember this came as a duo, or there were two in the set. And one was all shimmers of these same colors and one was matte, which is this. And this reminds me of the Naked Basics. Um, again, you know, how many of these have I already showed you? But excellent quality, beautiful pigmentation, soft and buttery. You know, but could somebody else be enjoying this while it's, you know, sitting in my stash not being used? But I am going to give it a shot and see if it's worth it. I, you, know, you guys know I love Lorac shadows. Now these two are both new. I put this one in my stash shopping or ones that I wanted to use last month and I did not use it. So this is the MAC Dusky Rose times nine palette and so much my cup of tea give you a few swatches of the colors that drew me in my hands a little wet but very pretty and very much what I'm into <laughs> like my holy grail status type things always have these colors and then here's another one this is the Patrick Star uh, glam AF and this one I don't have many MAC shadows, I'm just kind of dabbling in it right now. And so this one um, has Brulee, Oh My God, Saddle, and Embark. And I know that three of the four of these are kind of, you know, cult classic type colors from MAC and I don't have any. So I thought I had some Nordstrom notes, even on my no buy, I bought something with my Nordstrom notes. Um, and these are beautiful and I've used it only once, but I definitely need to do some more with it. I'll swatch it for you. Of course, this was limited edition and so I knew and I really like Patrick Star. Oh goodness. I barely dipped in that and whoo! And the one that he did, I think it's called Oh My God, that one. Oh Lord, it's beautiful. So can't wait to play with that some more. All right. Next is a Lorac palette. Um, at the time that I bought this, I know that I was looking for that shade, mint green. Mint green and brown, I, that was my jam for a little while. Um, that's this color here, and it is very nice, very nice. And so, but these other colors, and this one especially, I just now noticed how pretty this one is, especially for a pastel look. So, I need to give this some more love. Let's look at this one. That's all right. That's really pretty. Sometimes I find myself at a loss for what to do with um, shimmery darks other than just put them all over the lid. But I don't know. I don't know about it. Do I keep it just for that mint green? Because I don't have that in anything else. Next is the Kat Von D Metal Mattes Palette. And the artwork on this just blows my mind. She, if you look at it this way, it says metal. And if you look at it this way, it says matte, which is so genius to me. The packaging of this, I mean, fully, fully pulled me in. I love the way that it was arranged. I love that there was all these shimmers and all these mattes. The thing about this is it was before I discovered glitter glue also. And so it fell out all over my face and I was frustrated by that. One thing that kind of trip me out about this palette is that some of these don't look on the eye like they look in the pan. Um, so I'll go through here and and swatch the shades that I thought were so unique and are the reason that I've kept it because there's none like it. At least not Kat Von D quality. Dude, I can see it on my finger. I mean just putting it on my finger. The pigment is just smooth and just gorgeous. Another one that I absolutely love is down here on the end called Velvet. And it is so beautiful for a plummy smoky eye. I just don't, I just don't reach for it, you guys. And I just, sometimes I don't, like I waited for this forever. It seemed like it took forever. I think I bought one of these for, I bought one of these for Becky too, I think. At least I know she's got it. But what I swatched was velour, moss, ribbon, silk. But let me show you some of the shimmers. All right, we got Watt, Tinsel, which is the one that fell out all over my face. 
Glitz. Hey Glitz, are you watching? There's this shade named after you. And Flash. All right, next I've got two Makeup Geek palettes. One is the Manny MUA palette. I know I love it. I just haven't used it in a long time. So I thought these are really good Valentine's Day looks. I may use it for my one of my Valentine's Day inspired looks. I love it. I especially love Artemis, which is that one. Um, this one is a cool blue, brown, burgundy, cool mon monotone, dual chrome, which is really cool. Um, I love Cosmopolitan, which I think is a Makeup Geek permanent shade. And I kind of need to go through these two and use shades that I haven't used or didn't use much. Whew, I love, that's like perfect rose gold, you guys. And again, the one called Mars and the one called Insomnia, these two are gorgeous. This is a really unique red shade. And this is a nice kind of like, I don't know, just dark brown, really beautiful chestnut brown. And then we've got In the Nude. And this is just my jam all day long. Um, let me swatch In the Spotlight Grandstand. These are, you know, they basically just took a lot of um, really popular makeup geek nude shades and put them in one palette. This is Grandstand, already forgot. In the Spotlight, gorgeous. Back to the palettes. This is the Balm Jovi. And so it is a play on words, obviously. It's got a guitar. It kind of looks like an, uh, one of the Bon Jovi emblems. Um, and it's by the Balm. And it's a neat palette because it's a combination of eyeshadow, highlighter, blush, and two lippies. We've got Alice Copper, Presto, Third Eye Blinded, Led Zeppelin, Moderato, REM, The Stroke, Allegro, Iron Maid, hyphen N, Metal, hyphen Ica, Adagio, Blink 180, or 1982, um, Millie and Vanilli are the lipstick shades. <laughs> Seriously. So, I'm having a hard time. So, there's a weird combination of colors here as far as the eyeshadows are concerned, but I'll swatch some of them for you here. All right, let's look at Metallica, Alice Popper, The Stroke, Third Eye Blinded, and I'll do Blink 182. The purple is definitely patchy. They don't really look, honestly, don't really look that great. Maybe that's why. Let me swatch the blush. The blush is called Pop Pop Don't You Want Me. <laughs> but uh, this is called Disco Disco Solid Gold is the highlighter. Nice. And here's the blush. Ooh, that one's really pigmented. And let me do the lippies, the Million Vanilli, which is too funny. It's called the, the lip, this says Lip Sync Playback. That's, this is Millie, and this is Vanilli. Millie and Vanilli, and they're kind of like balms, like tinted balms. Not really lipsticks, I don't think. Okay, these two are Stila palettes, and I know I love them. I haven't touched them in a long time. Um, this one is called In the Light. This one is called In the Know. I think there were four of them, and I think they're called Eyes Are the Windows to the Soul or something like that. I th I'm pretty sure this is the first Stila that I ever had. But let's look at In the Light. And you know, again, this is just my jam all day long. Browns and mauves and I have to say mauve since Danny, Coffee Break with Danny says mauve is wrong, but I am a redneck. Hillbilly. <laughs> Anyways, I love this shade, especially it's very unique. So, and this one called Kitten is iconic color for Stila. So I'm gonna swatch Kitten, Bubbly, Bliss, and Sunset. Oh my gosh, like I can't wait to use this. I forgot how beautiful this was. So gorgeous, you guys. Especially Kitten. Ah. 
and then you get a good swatch on this guy. Let me show you this blue too, and it's called Night Sky. Oh, super pretty, but it really doesn't even look blue. It looks slight whenever it's swatched. Maybe I was disappointed that it didn't match up. Definitely excited to use that again. Next one is called In The Know, and this is the all matte palette from, and honestly, this should probably be on the chopping block because I have so many. These are, This reminds me of the Balm uh, Meat Matte palettes. But there is a pretty color called rain. I like smoke. I like desert. I like fire. Um, earth. All right. Let me swatch some. I'm going to swatch smoke, rain, fire. Uh, driftwood is nice. And I'll do clay. My thumb isn't working very good for this. Really pretty. Very earthy. So, I don't know. This one may be on the chopping block. I'm not sure. You guys honestly have not touched these in so long. And you guys know a swatch is a swatch is a swatch. And it doesn't mean that it's not a quality palette. Or that it's not going to apply well. One thing I have to give this is it has a black and, a, and two light tones. So, it covers the whole gamut. Alright, I know this is a bunch, guys, but this is coming to the end. The last big bunch. I like the variety. And, and a lot of these are, you know, even chopping block worthy, I guess. So, it may be that when I come back for the next update, I will, it's possible that I will say, these got chopped if I really don't like them. The first one here, um, this was in my first, I bought this at Sephora in my first birthday haul as of being a makeup addict uh, enthusiast. <laughs> it's called the I Art Artist Palette and my friend Sarah Hosley um, recommended this because she knew of my love for purples and mauves and pinks. And is this not my jam all day? all day long. I don't know why I keep saying that today. And it's got little spots on it. I don't even know what that is. Maybe some other, some of them moved into the other. It's a good look at it. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um, sparkling Dew. African Violet. Plum Smoke, which is gorgeous. Violet Ink. How's that for a beautiful swatch? Right across my knuckles. <laughs> uh, primrose. Beautiful colors. And I don't think I said so, but this is Laura Mercier. Next is an Emily Noel recommendation by Makeup Revolution. And it is called Neutrals N E W hyphen T R A L S versus Neutrals. Which I don't really get the significance of that, but okay. Got a brush in here. And I've swatched it. I see my finger marks in it, but I don't think I've ever used it. I'm going to swatch some of these. Style, partial, tone, um, let's see, buff. Very pretty. Maybe I need to go back and watch her tutorial using this. I think I probably should. All right, we've come to the last of the eyeshadows. Let's go ahead and show you this one. It's called IBY Beauty. 
and it's called the Trio Eyeshadow Palette Threes Company. Um, I keep this because it's a good neutral palette. But again, do I need it? Probably not. But I know I've swatched it. I know it's pretty. I think I've used it a couple times. But, you know, maybe good for travel, even though I don't go anywhere. <laughs> Truth is, guys, I need to get rid of more of these than I'm even putting on the chopping block, and I'm finding that out as I go through all these. Next is Urban Decay by LTD Reloaded. Um, you know, this is look, I kind of feel the same way about this that I felt about the uh, Through the Looking Glass palette. I look at it and I go, what do I do with this thing? You know? But then you've got colors like Freak Show. Um, gold mine, UV8, hot pants, midnight company. Ooh, that purple. Pretty nice. But again, it's one of those situations where I think I'm gonna have to pull a couple palettes and use the colors from this, or you know, dig into some of the mattes and, and do a foundation with those. I just need to use it. Dude. I need to use it. I've been on a Kat Von D kick. I did a, I just recently, um, did a look with the new Fawn quad. This is the Rust quad. I bought this from someone and it had hardly ever been used. You guys know how I feel about Kat Von D shadows. These are beautiful. I should be using them now. They look beautiful in the fall. But there's always a shade like that one. It's so unique and so pretty. And the cream shades are so pigmented. And that's beautiful. I need to do a look with that one. You know what? I just had an idea. It's funny how my brain works. But as I'm going through all these, I'm kind of thinking maybe as I as I use these, maybe make sure I take pictures of them. And maybe I should just like have a shop my stash I look parade and just kind of show you what I came up with all these. Like take a picture of the palette and a picture of the eye look and just kind of do a parade. Maybe on Instagram and then combine them into one video. And then maybe you guys could vote. I could do a poll and you guys could vote and tell me which eye looks you like that you might want a tutorial on. That might be fun. And last is another Emily Noel uh, recommendation. It's Stila and it's called Perfect Me, Perfect You. And this is a medium tan. And this does have eyeshadows and face products. And I like this color for an eyeshadow. I haven't really used the eyeshadows. I used the blush for the eyeshadow. So I don't know if there's names there are. I'll do inspiring magnetic and feisty and I need to do daring as well the one on my knuckle super pretty I feel like maybe I'm spending too much time swatching but at the same time when people show me palettes a lot of times I look at them and I'm like, yeah, that's nice and everything, but what do they actually look like? And as I was wiping this off my hand, I caught a glimpse of the burgundy shade and I think that, or the plum shade, I think that's the reason Emily loved this so much. I did not realize how freaking stunning that is. It's a beautiful color. My hand was a little wet, but look at the tone of that. It's gorgeous. Okay, folks, that's the eyeshadows. I understand that that's a massive amount, but I really need to do some weeding out of these in a big way. I pulled out a ton of face products. I need to see which ones I'm gonna keep. There's a lot of them that I'm not, I don't remember being wowed about. These two were in my stash last month. I didn't use them because 
they fell down somewhere in the deep downs, didn't see that they had fallen out of whatever I had them in or whatever shelf I had it on, and they didn't. I didn't find them until I started cleaning today to get this all prepared. And so this is the Too Faced Perfect Flush Blush and Candy Glow. And I am not going to swatch all these <laughs> unless it's something that is necessary. I'm going to go quickly because I feel like I've, this is rather long already. Um, this is Tea Rose by Milani. has been one of my favorites for a very, very long time. You can tell it's well loved, but it's a good everyday pink. Now I've got several... I'm just going to open them all, talk about them at the same time. Most of these are glow palettes, and how many do you really need? And when I say that, I think of Sarah Kay. I think she's the one, and her and Denny, that have so many um, highlighter palettes, or at least ones that they've bought recently. I don't know if these are all fitting in frame, but I'm gonna go talk about them one at a time and move them over. This is the Sweet Peach Glow. Um, if I remember correctly, I'm not impressed with this. So I need to give it a shot and see if I need to keep it. I need to have a yay and nay box, I think. Next is, this is the Casey Holmes Smashbox palette, and there are some, I mean, I just don't know, you guys. I got the pearl one. I, I like the color of this, but it's very glittery. These other two are just kind of underwhelming, honestly. So, I don't know if I'll keep that. We've got the Laura Geller. This is called the Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator. I was so in love with the um, Gilded Honey, which is that one, that I really wanted to try some other shades. And I found myself really mixing these all together because they didn't seem that spectacular. Uh, this is Peach Glow, Gilded Honey, which you can see, good gravy, is that pretty or what? And Ballerina and I just kind of mix those two together on accident, but Ballerina. And I think Ballerina might be better suited for me to use as an eyeshadow, but they're all pretty. This one I bought, this is Makeup Revolution Radiance Palette because it was supposed to be a dupe for the Hourglass um, Ethereal Powder. I think this one was supposed to be a dupe. I can't remember what the name of the other ones are, but um, yeah. These are really subtle, and these are ones that you can put all over your entire face. Very subtle, but still very beautiful. I need to use it. I've barely touched this, and I know that for a fact. Um, this is one that I got sent to me from Ulta for free, just as a you know good customer. You spend all your money at our store gift. So heard that happened to a lot of people. Had never happened to me. Oh my goodness. Lala's gonna say, stop apologizing, we can see it. Well, I feel like I'm in a weird position and it's really not working the way that it did the last time. And I hope I'm not showing myself in the mirror because yeah, I'm sitting here in my night clothes. So we've got four highlighters, a blush, and a cream contour. So let me wipe off my hand and I'll show these to you. I gave one of these away in my 100 subby video to my friend Matthew who gave it to his daughter. All right, I'm gonna just do it on my arm. Let's see if my arm is in frame. Lit strobe, not showing at all. Let's do this side. Hug. Lit strobe, ooh, hello strobe. Fire and Stunner. 
these need some love, don't they? They're super pretty. Um, sculpt, pretty bronzer, real nice, very cool tone, and cream highlight, which I have never in my life done. I mean, not a highlight, contour. So, there you have it. This is the Tardis Pro Glow Palette. I don't think I said that. And this is one I got at Christmas time. It's Anastasia Glow Kit. Um, I've used all of these now, actually, and I, I like them all, so I wanted to keep it in. This was in my stash from last month, and I like them all. So let me swatch those once I get my hand dry. We got Bronzed, Summer, Tourmaline, and Moonstone. So Bronzed, whoo, Summer, Tourmaline, and Moonstone. Gorgeous. And we were talking about Jaclyn Hill recently in a live video and we were talking about Champagne Pop and how wonderful it is. So decided I was going to get out my Jaclyn Hill Becca. Uh, it's called the Champagne Collection Face Palette. It's very well loved. I used it every day for, I don't know, three months. Um, we've got three blushes, or a blush topper, a blush, and a shimmery blush, and these are called Rosé Spritz, Amaretto, and Pamplemousse. Those are the blushes. Very pigmented. And then... Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop. Where can I put them? Right here. Doesn't even look good, so let me find another spot where my skin is not as dark and you can see the colors better. Most of you already know what these look like, but I really like to mix Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop together. I'll show you what that looks like. Alright, Champagne Pop on its own, Prosecco Pop on its own. Champagne Pop, Prosecco Pop. Now I'm going to dip into both and mix them. I really like that combination. I think I finally found a good place now that I'm almost done. I tried, you guys. I tried. And finally... Too Faced uh, Papa Don't Peach Blush and the Beauty and the Rock Beauty and the Beast Cheek Palette. And I've talked about this one before. I love it. This one, I'm not sure. I'm not a huge fan of shimmery blushes, guys. That I think that's what it comes down to. I'll swatch this. It doesn't translate big time, but there's definitely shimmer. It's the pigmentation that I had trouble with. It's like I couldn't get it to show up. Maybe really good for a lighter skin tone. But I absolutely love the Beauty and the Beast here. These are my, like if I had a perfect palette of colors of blush that worked for me, this is it. And we've got, there's a, um, yeah. We've got See Beyond, Fearless, Enchanted, and Rose. So, let me... This has a bit of shimmer. Rose does. Enchanted is a matte. Fearless is a highlighter. And See Beyond is my absolute favorite out of all of these. If you guys know me and you know what I like the most, you know that this is absolutely my jam. All day long since I've been saying that all day long. All right, that's all the face products. I really felt the need, if you can't tell, to work through, um, declutter my eyeshadow. Even in, in swatching them, I can almost tell which ones I'm gonna keep and which ones I'm going to leave, get rid of, give away. Now I have my beautiful Marilyn Monroe box that says we are all stars and it's pink and polka dotted and how can you not love it? She's one of my favorites. But in here, 
is where I put a ton of lippies. And I don't think I'm even going to go through them because this video is already long. But the reason I put them in this box is because I literally want to pull them out and use them one at a time each day. I may go through and look at them and, you know, just look at them and say, okay, this looks best with, you know, with what I'm working with that day. But there's all kinds of formulas. I've got some Meet Matt Hughes Liquid Lips. I've got the Bite Beauty Quad. Um, lots of Creamy Mattes by Maybelline. I found my Smashbox Stay All Day or Always On or something like that. A couple Max um, Whirl. A couple uh, Gin Nude from Bare Minerals. Just a variety. Um, some Rimmel. But one that I have noticed a lot of people using uh, toppers. And this is Too Faced Honey. And it's a gloss topper. And it's got a real pretty sheen. And I think there's a lot of colors that I could, that that would enhance. So I've never tried this. It was a free gift with something. And so I'm going to work with it. This is it. Thank you for hanging in there if you did. I'm sure I will um, edit out a lot of this, but it got rather lengthy this time. But I think I'm gonna call this my February and March shop my stash or stash shopping. And um, I'll be doing some looks with all of these. I'll probably do a couple videos using my stash products and um, just kind of talking about how I feel about them along the way. But. As you can see, I have a lot of things. They need to be gone through, they need to be decided upon, and some of them just need a lot of love. So, it's all gonna get a lot of love. But thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate your time and your interest in my collection and the things that I am doing in regard to kind of weeding out the good ones and giving away the ones that aren't working for me. Um, but yeah. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you made it to this part of the video, um, give me a winky face emoji in the comment section. <laughs> Thank you so much again, and I will talk to you very soon. Until next time, take care and God bless. Bye guys. Oh, check out my pretty fingernails. Bye, guys.